guys it's Ali welcome to today's video so today I'm going to be working with some more book pages I've been making these little butterfly embellishments so I just thought I'd turn on the camera and show you how I made them so let's just put them over there for a minute I'll probably have to zoom out a little bit now I've got four book pages um, I've just used this vintage book here it's actually a Spanish book one that I picked up in a charity shop haul um, I'm not too sure what year it's from anyway doesn't matter does it I've got four book pages I've ripped four out I'm just going to glue them in half so I'm just going to use my glue stick just to to glue them down let's just see if we're too close there yeah I'm just going to zoom out a little bit I just wanted to zoom in to show you the Is that better do you think Oh, this camera I'm still getting used to it right I think that's okay at the moment so I'm just going to glue my pages in half just using my just then it's a little bit more stability when I come to spray them so that's that one and then this one in fact I don't need to put glue all over I only need to put a little bit on this bit here and then glue that in half you don't have to do this you don't have to glue them in half you can just stamp onto one page I just think it's a little bit more stability for when I come to spray them with my sprays at the end I'm not a fan of this glue stick but I want to use it so I've got quite a few of them I bought so I just want to use them Okay, so that's that one, and then finally let's put some glue on this one. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all okay. I'm okay at the moment. Still not been out the house. It's been about two weeks since I've left the house. Going a bit stir crazy to be honest. Right, so there's our four book pages. Let's just put the lid on that glue. I'm just going to get a piece of kitchen, I'll just wipe that bit of glue up then it doesn't stick to everything. Right we are, so next what I've done is I've been into my stamp collection, I've picked out some butterfly stamps and I'm going to just do some stamping and then I'm going to put, use my VersaFine Onyx Black Ink and then I'm going to go over them with some clear embossing powder that I've got here. So I'm going to do three at a time just to make sure I get the a nice impression so let's have that one first so I'm just going to put it in my ink put my ink pad to the stamp and I'm going to stamp on the butterfly so there's one this is a really nice little stamp there's two now I like using this Versa Fine Onyx Black Ink because it stays wet for quite a bit you know for your embossing powder to go over so this is just clear embossing powder so I'm going to go over my butterflies all over like so just make sure that they're covered I've just got a scrap piece of paper underneath then I'm going to put this back in my tub and then we're going to emboss them sheet by sheet and then I know it'll work so I'm just going to put my heat gun on just to warm up a little bit I always like my heat gun pretty warm before I put it to my embossing powder whether the camera will pick that up but by putting the clear embossing powder over it just gives a nice sheen on your image so I'm going to put that to one side and I'm going to stamp three more of this butterfly and then I'm going to swap my stamp over so there's one and then there's two oops not to worry I'm going to paint over it so you won't see that and there's three I'm going to do exactly the same again just bring it back in my embossing powder go all over my images 
making sure I've covered them. Just shaking off the excess. Let's put this back in the tub. I haven't played with my embossing powders for absolutely ages and ages, so it's nice to have a play. Okay, I'm going to turn back on my heat gun. those three right let's just give that stamp a little wipe over and just grab my other one I do like to use the Versa 5 black ink right so which one shall we have we'll have this one and I'm going to do the same again I'm just going to stamp my butterflies I'm going to do six of these so I'm just going to use my black ink pad again just a different stamp this time and again just stamp onto the book page that's one, two, in fact we'll stamp them all together and then we'll go with these three and then we'll put the, em no we won't because I might not have enough embossing powder and I don't want it to dry so I'll do it separate just to make sure it works out nice, it doesn't take a minute to do. Okay so there's my embossing powder again, just put that back. Yeah, always have a piece of scrap paper underneath or something to catch your embossing powder then it's easy to put back in your tub. So let's just, I feel like the camera's miles away there. Is that focus? Right, let's just put, turn on the heat gun again. So there's those three and finally we'll do these three so let's just grab that ink pad again put my butterfly in stamp it down right there we go there's our images let's just put that away and then we don't get all inked up put that over there and then Oh, I've knocked my embossing powder all over my desk. That was clever, wasn't it? Right, let's see if we've got enough in here to go over. I'll have to sort that out when I've finished. I've just caught the tip of it and it's tipped over all over everywhere. Silly me, not to worry. Okay, so that's that. So let's just put that back in. I thought it was doing really well there. I've got a big pile of embossing powder me ages to clean that up let's just get them butterflies out of the way give me an excuse to clean all my desk up won't it right let's just put those over there then butterflies okay so let's just heat emboss these last three <laughs> there we are so we've got all of our embossed butterflies I'm just going to grab my little messy mats for a minute and we're going to use my watercolours to colour over these I'm not going to do anything fancy I'm just going to give a quick wipe over I'm going to use these is it Arteza or Arteza I'm not sure how you pronounce it they're just um, watercolour paints I've just got one of my little uh, Arteza aqua brush this is just if you've never seen them before it's just like a little chamber and you put your water in then you squeeze there and your water comes out just like a paintbrush dipped into water really okay so I'm going to start with pink and I'm just going can you, see, I don't think you can see there can you oh yeah I'll put it on there so I'm going to start with my pink I'm just going to paint over my butterflies just sketchy looking nothing fantastic because I'm going to fussy cut them at the end anyway just going to go over them just to put some colour on I'm 
yeah we're going to fussy cut around them so there's no need to stay in the go out it uh, there's no need not to worry about going out out the edges that's fine okay so there's my pink one so I'm just going to put that over there to dry for a minute I'm just going to get a piece of kitchen towel I'm just going to squeeze my aqua brush just to get rid of the pink it'll run clear in a minute just then I don't contaminate my paints right there we go so next what colour am I going to come in with next I'm going to come in with purple so I'm going to use this purple here and again I'm just going to put some colour over you can use whatever colours you want if you've not got watercolours just use acrylics or um, gelatos, uh, what else could you use, sprays, whatever you've got just to put your colour down I'm just using these because I've got them just thought these would make nice little embellishments to stick on you know the front of pockets or stick on tags or anything really little journaling cards just make nice little embellishments stick on pages in your journal okay so there's the purple just go over the top a little bit darker right so I'm going to put that over there as well I'm just going to grab another where's my kitchen towel I'm just going to go over it on here right okay so next I've got this one and I'm going to use a brownie colour I'm going to use that one there just do some brown ones I was going to do all brown to be honest like brown tones and then I changed my mind I thought I'd do some brighter colours as well okay so again just painting over them well scribbling over them I wouldn't call it painting it's just scribbling over the and the clear embossing powder um, I just love the sheen that it gives you images so this one okay so that is that one okay I'm just going to put that over there to dry I'm just going to clean off my brush again okay and finally the last four what am I going to use I'm going to use this one here it's like a goldy yellow colour I'm going to use that one and just sketch quickly scribble over okay just making sure I've covered it and then final one right there we go so there's my butterflies let's just get rid of these paints put them out the way I'm just going to clean off my brush yeah just squeeze it see how it runs clear just like that I'm going to put the lid on that then we don't get water everywhere okay so let's bring back in our butterflies and I'm just going to put on my heat gun and just dry over them to make sure they're dry right what I'm going to do next I'm just going to put them three there I'm just going to bring in this piece of scrap paper and I've got my mica sprays again I've made two more this morning I've made another a pink one and like a copper one so I'm going to use my gold on this yellow um, if you've not seen the video on how I make these it's the one where I've made the tags with the flowers on it shows you how I put the made these little mica sprays um, yeah absolutely gorgeous they are so you need to really give them a good shape because the mica settles in the bottom of the spray okay so I'm just going to spray it over like that and then I'm just going to get my kitchen towel and just roll over and put it to one side we'll dry them all off together so that's my gold and what you need to do is to dry the little you know the spray bit because if you don't it'll get all clogged up and they won't spray properly so there's my gold right what colour is that one I'm going to use the copper one over this brown so again I'm just giving it a good shake because you can see all the mica settled at the bottom there 
it's really sparkly it's gorgeous okay so I'm just going to spray over these like that and again I'm going to put that over there for a minute let's wipe the edge uh, the nozzle that's the word I was looking for and wipe make sure you wipe the nozzle on the spray bottles okay so that's two and then I'm going to bring in my purple and I'm going to use my purple spray just give it a good shake okay and spritz it again forgetting to wipe, wipe your nozzle okay and then I'm just going to run my kitchen towel over it again and then finally I've got the pink one and I've made this pink spritz just give it a good old shake it's not my favourite colour that actually if I'm honest pink whether I'll use that I don't know maybe if I'm using some pink ephemera maybe I would spray it all over and my hands I don't know whether the camera will pick that up my hands glistening with the mica okay let's just roll over there again Right, so what I'm going to do now, I didn't wipe the nozzle on that one, did I? I don't want them to get blocked up. Right, so I'm just going to bring back in my, and get rid of that now. We don't need that. I'm just going to put on my heat gun and I'm going to just dry off the mica spray. So there we go, there's our butterflies. Now I'm not sure whether the camera will pick up the mica. It's really glistening. Let's see if you can see it better on. Really sparkly, got my hands are covered in it. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to pause the camera and I'm going to fussy cut all these butterflies. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Now let, I can't see whether the camera's picking it up. I mean this one is really, really shiny. Um, I hope it is. I hope it's picking it up. So there's all my butterflies. So to finish them off, let's just zoom out a little bit. To finish them off, all I'm going to do is I'm going to use my, where have I put it? Um, here it is. Vintage Photo Distressing. I'm just going to ink around all the edges of my butterflies. There's one. And I can't decide whether to put a little bit of bling in the middle of each butterfly. I think I will. Um, these could be three. I mean, they could be lovely three-dimensional butterflies. You know, like that one there. And then stick that one in the middle. But ideally in a journal, that's probably not practical, is it? To have them three-dimensional. But you could do. Um, you know, I suppose you could use them for that. But I'm just going to leave them like they are. I'm just going to carry on inking around the edges. They do look really nice in real life if I'm honest. Um, yeah I'm quite happy with them. And like I said, <coughs> excuse me, you can use them to stick on your tags or on your pockets or whatever your journaling cards just as little embellishments to have in your stash. Okay and then this last one Right, there we go. So should we stick some little, I'm just going to wipe, my hands are just covered in mica spray. Let's just sort the colours. We've got pink, purple, yellow, uh, pink, purple, yellow, brown. Right, I think, I think I'm going to put a little, well I've got these tiny little adhesive pearls. So I'm going to put one of these in each of the pink ones, just a, what, a tiny one in the middle, just a little tiny one, like that. I'm going to get my pokey tool because they're so tiny. Uh, where is it? Pokey tool. Here it is. Just one of these little ones, just in the middle of the, I mean, you don't have to do this. I think it'll just finish them off. So there's my pink ones. Oh no, I've got two more there, haven't I? I didn't see those two. There's that one, and then finally this one. Yeah, I think they look nice, just a tiny little embellishment. So they're the pink ones. I've rooted out some purple ones. Let's just put these on. Just one in the centre. And then that one. Okay, so that's purple. 
Uh, what else did I get out? I got these. These are a little bit bigger. I didn't have any smaller sort of goldy ones. So I'm just going to put one of them in the middle of my brown butterflies. Yeah, I like those. Okay, and then, did I have another brown one? Yeah, there it is. That one. And then what colour have we got left? We've got the goldy yellow ones. Um, I've got these, but these are quite sparkly. What have I done with them? These little ones here. They're quite sparkly, so let's just have a look whether I like them or not. I'm not too sure whether I want sparkle. Yeah, they'll be fine. Okay. And that one. And then that one. Okay, so let's just move them about a little bit, mix up the colours. A couple of pink ones over there, the yellow one. So guys, there we go then. There's my, um, can't see them can you? Put them in a little bit. There's my butterflies made for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Just a different way to use up some of your book pages. Um, yeah, so as always, thank you so much for stopping by to watch. I will leave all my links in the description, my social media links. Please come along and join me if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And if you do, don't forget to hit that little bell, which will notify you when I've got any new videos. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.